doing the same workout routine day in and day out can get boring and sometimes we just have to change it up a bit so tonight we're sharing the top five ways to tone up with a medicine ball back with us is Allison McWilliams co-owner of Siren Fitness great to see you you too before we get started we do want to mention too that you should always warm up before you get into this correct um, the med ball a lot of people know what they are you see them at the gym but you don't use them I don't know if people are afraid of it or what but you're gonna show us the five moves number one we're working on the chest right so you could just come on, on down to your mat, so get a nice comfy mat, lay down on the floor, just warm up by doing some chest presses here, and just straight up using your arms and your shoulder and your chest. You have an eight pound ball, is that a good weight? Because you, you'll find them at, you know, 10, 8, 6. Oh yeah, they go up from two pounds all the way up to 40 pounds, so anything that works best for you, start off low and then as you get stronger, increase the weight. Okay. And then you can stay right here and go right into your triceps. This is number two, the second way you can use the med ball. So keep your elbows in, just extending. And actually, you'll probably need a lighter one when you do the triceps versus the chest. You feeling it right now? So. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Number three, you want to work on your abs. Don't forget the abs. So, so we have reach-ups and touch-downs. Yep, so you're right here so you can just reach up to the sky. So stick your chest out, abs in tight, reaching all the way up. Every time you switch to an exercise, how many would you do? Sometimes I'd go to failure, and sometimes you can go 12 to 15, 15 to 20, so you choose. As you get stronger, you can increase it. There you go. That's a good way to start. Fourth go. move. Oh, there then you go. we can That's come right abs. up. Okay. Go right into your back, so your abs are in tight, feet together, just doing some rows. Also, you can also put one foot back, abs are in tight, so you're working your shoulders, your back, your arms, the back, doing that row. Okay, number five, the last one. Squats, yes. shoulders, whole thing, all over body. So you're working your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, your abs, your arms, your shoulders, your back. And, and this your is a, a perfect example of where you don't have to just do a squat. You can incorporate the arms and why not get a full body? And you can burn more calories that so way. you do all five of those mm -hmm. and you've done the whole body pretty much, right? right? You've targeted all the muscles. And then you can go back and do it again. So if you did this as a circuit, mm -hmm. you would spend how much time if you're working, say you're just working with a client mm -hmm. with a med ball mm -hmm. one day, how long would you work on it? Um, you could do like a series and do 10 minutes and then come back to it 10 minutes later or you could do 20 minutes. So it all depends on okay. what other workouts you have involved, whether it's cardio or other lifting. Very good. So there you go. Easy to incorporate. Grab a med ball. And if you see them at the gym and you've never tried it, Pick one up and don't be afraid, right? That's right. You can always ask somebody for help or just kind of watch what everybody else is doing. If you would like to talk to the Siren Fitness ladies about how to incorporate a medicine ball into your workout, log on to our web channel, NBC15.com, and click on news links. Have a good weekend. Thanks, you too.